Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Bonafide Bus. Today we're meeting Shelly and Griselda. They also live in a school bus and they're gonna give us a tour today. So let's go get started. I'm Shelly. This is Griselda. I'm Griselda. <laughs> we are Escobedo on the road, but she says it's prettier. Escobedo on the road. <laughs> Same. <laughs> we have been full time almost for a year, and this is my second bus, her first bus. First bus. She did all the work. I just did the decoration, <laughs> mostly. We have a 2003 GMC Savannah 3500. It's a V8 with the 6.0 uh, liter Vortex engine inside, and it, we get about 10 miles per gallon. We just recently got the Escobedo on the road airbrush done by Airbrush Assassin at our last schoolie swarm. Um, he's really good and kind of does that for a living, so you should hit him up. This is our happy place, and my wife really wanted that, so that's why that's there. Um, we have a gas engine. Uh, we have a diesel heater, so this is our intake. I covered it because we're supposed to not let it get wet on the inside. Um, and then our exhaust is under there. When we bought the bus, uh, we already had a 30 amp panel box. So this is where it comes out of. Also, our AC is connected separately, so we have to um, connect that separately. are very grateful to Dusty Soul Bus. They uh, built this deck for us. We do carry our 3500 Faraday generator. It's like a starter kit for bus life. Um, we have two cans of gas and one can of diesel. This is for our heater. Um, we have to carry our chairs and we have to use this to fill up the diesel because it's in a really tight spot and we have to do it on the inside. Also carry my tools so whenever anything needs to be done, we are ready to do that. On this side, um, basically we have the first hole that I created to put our water intake. I was not very familiar with the whole RV life, you know, where you should have hookups and all that. So we put the water intake on this side. It should have been on the other side, but hey, you know. We have 600 watts of uh, solar on top. We have 300 amp hours of battery life and a 3000 watt inverter. It really helps um, while trying to run the, you know, Keurig and the microwave at the same time. It really works well with that. And then last thing we have here is our uh, kangaroo. It's kind of like ring. So we get, a, uh, we have an app on our phone and it works through Wi-Fi. So you do have to have your own Wi-Fi. Um, and whenever it, it rings, you can actually see uh, who's at the door on your phone app and all that good stuff. We also have these motion lights um, and they obviously they're solar and they only work at night. It actually um, has helped a couple of times when people try to like get too close at night and the light comes up and they ran away. And then my wife got this stained um, window cling and it's used as a privacy. It also is used so that Bo, one of our chihuahuas, doesn't look out the door and barks at everybody that passes by. So um, let's go ahead and go inside and see what the inside looks like. All right, well, here's the inside of our, I call it our studio on the road, <laughs> studio apartment on the road. And this is Griselda's area. Usually she drives, she gets motion sickness. If anybody drives, not just me. Um, so she does most of the driving. I can drive it. I'm capable and I love it, but she prefers to. And then I get to take all the pictures. So it's a win-win for both of us. Um, we use some of, we wanted to keep this as bus-like as possible, just to keep the aesthetic of it. We use our little storage area for all of our dog stuff and cat stuff and then this one as well and then of course we use it for our sticker collections from all of our friends that we've met on the road or have mailed us stickers and we will meet them on the road eventually this is our storage for our laundry when we are not moving if you're gonna build a bus make sure you have somewhere to put your laundry we have um, redone our bus a few times I always suggest living in it before you build in it because you're going to rebuild or take something out and put something in you're gonna it's, it's always a project so this is our 
final hopefully <laughs> but we wanted seating in our first original bus we didn't have a lot of seating and we wanted to make sure we implemented that in our final build <laughs> um so what you're looking at is one of our benches but it also is our toilet so it's just a bucket system we just go to the bathroom put some cedar on it and then we toss it like a baby diaper <laughs> And then we have a bunch of storage underneath here, mostly like linens and towels. Then you're gonna come into our kitchen area. Not only is it me and my wife, but we also have three little furry animals. We have Bo. She is 17 years old, so she sleeps all day, and then at night she wants to party. And then we have Binks, who is around the same age. She was rescued 14 years ago by Griselda in California out of the street. So he's my favorite, don't tell anybody. And then we have Pumpkin, our cat, <laughs> that was rescued a few years ago by Griselda and her sister. And she is the princess of the bus. If she wants to be fed, she'll let everybody know. So this is our little, little family in our little bus. In our first part of the build, we didn't have as much counter space and we wanted more counter space. So this was our idea to do it. We added a uh, mini, another mini fridge we've gone through three we won't even go through that right now we would prefer a bigger one but aesthetically <laughs> this one works getting groceries not so much but it's okay you live with it tiny life cooking wise we do a lot of veggies and rice and healthy try to do meals and we do the skillet and we usually have a um in no what is it an air fryer but um ours went kaput so we're gonna replace that soon and then this is just like all of our cooking utensils. We do have these. <laughs> so we have them on the refrigerator, cabinets, all the cabinets and drawers to help protect everything from flying and going anywhere. So I wanted a very open floor concept. And so when the wife talked about building shelves overhead, I was a little nervous because I didn't want um, it to look uh, cluttered and claustrophobic. So when I saw these, I fell in love with them immediately. I have extreme ADD, and if I don't see what we have, I don't believe it exists any longer. So these open shelves really help, and she built them for both sides. And, um, and I love that they just stay when we're moving. We have food, <laughs> an excessive amount of food, because we don't know where we'll be for a week or, t or so. So we have these baskets full of food. Well. We were moving everything off of the counter onto the bed every time we had to drive and that just got redundant. So we VHB these baskets to our, ca our cabinet so it works perfectly. We only have to move the skillet onto the bed and then we can drive. This is our bed we actually had just purchased for the home that we were renting and we were determined to have the same size bed and not have to purchase another one. So the wife built this um, bed frame that actually stores all of our clothes. Her clothes are underneath here, all nice and organized. Mine are in a bin just thrown in because that's how two personalities live together. <laughs> um, also underneath our bed is all of our solar components and our 30 amp power box. Um, when we purchased the bus, it actually had 30 amp already installed with a bunch of outlets. So we were, that was one of the um, reasons we bought this bus. And then on the other side is our 75 gallon water tank, which is all plumbed underneath here. One of our other newest additions we got at Schoolie Swarm were from our friends, um, Tiny Starry Ceilings. We got this amazing Starry Night um, panel that is connected to uh, a plug-in or it can go you know, to 12 volt or however you wanna do it but we love it. They hand painted it for us and it actually changes colors. It brightens and lightens. And it really, I feel like brings something extra to our bus. And I just love the painting, even when it's not lit, lit up. And then it's really great for movie nights because we have our TV over there and that's how we watch a show or a movie at night before we go to sleep. We have our other kitchen side, which we have this um, sink we got from Ikea for I think $30, which was a steal because we had a $100 faucet in here when we first started that was like a bar sink and it was super tiny, <laughs> way too tiny. Then we got this from Amazon and it actually was meant to be a shower, an outdoor shower at one point, but we just don't need it now. So um, we love our little sink area. We have our water pump and our drain that is um, connected so we can drain that whenever we can. And then underneath here, excuse the mess, we have our propane tank 
don't fuss at us. And then we have our ventless, tankless water heater and all of our plumbing is in here and behind our pantry right here. And then our pantry is here and then our silverware is here and again we have all the little clips to make sure this stuff doesn't fly out while we're driving we have our cute little microwave that's actually a low wattage microwave so we love it 700 watts and then we have our keurig we've tried many different ways of doing coffee but just keurig is our favorite right now this is another shelf that Griselda built um, to make sure we could see all of our spices and I can reach them because I'm four foot ten, so I need to be able to reach everything in case she's not around. But um, we just use it as storage for everything, dog stuff, spices, cleaning, um, toothbrush, coffee, and all that. And wanted to point out our awesome curtain rods. We've actually tried uh, several ways of hanging curtains. This is definitely my favorite is the copper with the bells and then we have we actually just purchased regular kitchen um, curtains and then just folded them in half and eventually we'll put some reflectics in there if we need to to give us some extra um, warmth or you know holding in the heat or whatever but right now we just use it as it is and it works really really well and then for the back window we used another stained glass just because we were tired of trying to tear them down when we were laying against it but it gave us the privacy and also um, just looks pretty too. <laughs> Probably one of my favorite things about our bus is our hidden shower and um, bathtub because I am a huge pampering freak. I love bubble baths and bath bombs and stuff like that. I actually have a little side business that I do with those so to be able to take a bath in my little short bus is amazing. We don't do it very often but just to know that I can do it and we can use it as our um, shower pan really helps there is actually a four foot galvanized tub underneath here and um, it is on pecs and it's all connected and their curtains down there permanently and then we hang them on these little hooks that we got at Lowe's we cut them in half and it fits perfectly stays up there for our showers we use a double um, shower curtain system and all of our plumbing is in here and it also gives me a place to sit while um, Griselda's driving so me and the cat usually <laughs> share this seat on the go. One of the reasons we did purchase this bus not only with the, having the 30 amp was also it had this air conditioner and that air conditioner. Now I know a lot of people are wondering how we power it and we have to have our generator to power it. Our solar does not run our AC. Um, our generator is amazing for powering our entire bus if we need to. Um, and we also have another way to power our solar batteries with the Sterling that is installed with our alternator. So it charges our house batteries while we drive. We met actually on Plenty of Fish um, online. I was currently living in a bus and she was living in a home in Columbus and I was living in like a little small town in Georgia. We had lunch together and we sat and had, we sat for like hours at Red Robin and yeah. just talked and talked and talked. And my first question was, how do you feel about living in a bus? <laughs> and she was like, yeah. <laughs> and then she called me the next day and she said, can I come see you again? And I was like, yeah. So, and we were pretty much lesbian, the total lesbian. We did you know, the U-Haul thing. We did yeah. the bus, pulled the bus over. <laughs> Instead of a U-Haul. Yeah. I went to a tiny house festival in Atlanta, Georgia at the Atlanta Motor Speedway and was looking for a tiny lifestyle. Um, originally I wanted to do like a shipping container, but then I realized you need land and I didn't have that and I didn't have the money for land and a tiny house. Um, and then I stumbled into the schoolie yard and I was hooked and the main reason I was hooked was because my friend already had a bus it was a 33 foot um, Chevy diesel and she had had it for a year and did nothing with it so I literally called her and I said I'm buying your bus and so I did <laughs> and then we met and I lived in the bus yep and by default I got into <laughs> bus life I took her to every tiny house festival yeah. that was near us and was like, don't you love it? Don't you love it? And she's like, and then mm. I saw every uh, YouTube video about bus life and tiny <laughs> house living after that. Yep. And so we bought a bus. We sold my other bus because it was just too big. And then we bought a smaller bus and we, she 
really fell in love with the process of building right. and learning everything she loves to learn. So yep. she did all of our solar and construction and most of the work. <laughs> we got our bus um, through Facebook Marketplace. We drove to Tennessee and I kind of already had my eyes on it. It looks very clean. Um, it had a 30 amp power box and it had an AC and all the seats were taken out already. So it, it was kind of like the right um, candidate for what we wanted to mm -hmm. do. Yeah, and if it convinced her that she wanted to do bus life, I was sold too. <laughs> I don't ever plan on not living bus life, so I just want to like do it all right now, but then I have to remind myself that we do have some time to see many states, and we've done a lot in a year. Um, we've hit, so I, I'm looking at a little cork board that has all of our pins in it. I'm like, gosh, we have done so much a lot. in we've a year. We've basically done half, <laughs> half of the southern uh, yeah. United States. Really. Exactly. So there's so much more to see, but we, we definitely have, you have to make money on the road. And our preference right now is work camping because they're seasonal jobs and we can camp and work and we get a free spot to park and we get paid to work. So just going to continue that on for as long as we can. I especially chose bus life because I never had a stable home. So some people either go the opposite way or they go the, you know, the, the way that they know. I'm a gypsy at heart, a hippie soul, um, didn't stay many places more than three to six months. Um, staying in a long place actually gives me anxiety, but um, to know that I have a home that's mine, that nobody can take away from me, it gives me that safety. And I think the universe helped make that happen with us because at the time we were renting, mm -hmm. I moved out of my bus into a rental home paying a thousand dollars a month in rent, which makes me want to vomit right now. <laughs> <laughs> but um, when we took our first trip after we lost our jobs during COVID, um, our landlord called not even 24 hours into the trip and said, um, we're selling the house. And so we're not renewing your lease. And we both looked at each other and we're like, guess we're living in the yep. bus. So, um, I think the universe just made it happen for us. We hope you guys enjoyed the tour of this beautiful bus. Shelly and Griselda are such sweet and down-to-earth people. Their info will be in the description below if you want to keep up with their adventures. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.